All right, breaking news out of Southern California. This wildfire there exploded overnight in Malibu, forcing a shelter-in-place order at Pepperdine University. This fire tripled in size in barely an hour. For a while, it was 0% contained. It has now burned more than 1,800 acres. We're looking, I think, at live pictures right, exactly. right now from Malibu. These are live pictures. Wow. Those are dramatic pictures we're seeing from Malibu. So Pepperdine student Nick Girding has been sharing images from inside the university library where students are sheltering there. Nick, good morning or good overnight to you. Tell me what's happening there and what you're seeing. All right, so right now it looks like the bulk of the, the danger of the fire has passed us. A lot of what surrounds us is just kind of smaller smaller bushfires. We can see a couple, um, as you can see in that video there, you can see a couple bigger spots in the fire that have some people concerned, but overall we are feeling much safer than we were, say, about two hours ago. So anyone who's been to Pepperdine knows it's just beautiful. It's like one of the most mm -hmm. beautiful campuses in the country, but I have to imagine you weren't yep. thinking about the beauty overnight as this huge fire just exploded inside. So, so what did happen overnight? So it started about, I was in my dorm with a couple of my buddies, and it started about 7.30, our power went out, and then we got a call from a roommate saying that there was a pretty large fire. And so I ran down the hall, grabbed a couple of the friends that I knew lived closest to me, and we kind of made a game plan to head to the library because my brother, unfortunately, went through a very similar thing about five years ago. And so I knew to go to the library. That's where we shelter in place. And so we have been... We've been in the library for about six hours awaiting orders. Jim Gash, our president, has come in several times to give us lots of lots of updates and what to do, what not to do. And we were told a bunch of times that we were in the safest place that we could be, and that is true. Um, I, I keep looking at those pictures, some of which you, you took yourself. Mm -hmm. Any buildings lost or affected at this point? Uh, we are not 100% sure. We are worried about a couple of the houses up on Baxter Drive. That's where a lot of faculty lives. But nobody is completely sure of the damages as it's so dark and we're a little isolated from some of the information. But it's nobody's fault, really. It's just the chaos of it all. But we're not entirely sure if any buildings have caught fire with us. Look, I get it. I mean, looking at some of these pictures that have happened, come in just over the last few hours, I mean, these are real fires, really close to buildings there on campus. This looks like it must have been serious. What's the environment been like for you all in that library over the last several hours? I imagine a lot more people yeah. jammed in there than normal. Yeah, it was, I mean, ironically, it's finals week, so there was already a lot of people here. But um, it's pretty jam-packed. There's about maybe 300, 400 kids in here, and... Overall, the, the vibe was panic, but it was more calm than I expected. A lot of, a lot of people were taking, um, taking time to pray, as we are a Christian campus. So taking time to pray, we were all just try, kind of waiting. It was just kind of a sense of waiting for the next move because there honestly wasn't much that we could do in that moment. And I feel like we all collectively kind of understood that. So I'm, I'm grateful for the non-panic that happened, but it was still very, very scary. Sort of a non-panic, high concern, strange yeah. night during finals week. Nick, I I'm glad you are well. I hope that those fires move past. Uh, continue to send us those videos because it's, it's a remarkable vantage point yes. that you have there. Best of luck to you and, and your friends mm -hmm. there. Thank you. Thank you so much. Kate? Also breaking overnight. <laughs>